Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this one I'm going to show you how to complete the Streaking Punch card. I've been playing Fortnite since about Season 5 and there has never been any challenge or unlockable that in my opinion has been as difficult as this one. So for streaking you need to make a total of 6 eliminations all within a couple of seconds of each other. So for example, you can make one elimination and then before it goes out of your feed on the bottom left of your screen, you need to make another one and so forth. If you're playing duos and you knock down one opponent and then eliminate his teammate, they'll both get eliminated at the same time. So when you would do this in squads, you could hypothetically knock down three opponents, eliminate the fourth one and you should have streaking of four because you're gonna get four eliminations at the same time. However, for this punch card, you need to make a total of six eliminations and that's what makes it so difficult. In all of my time playing Fortnite, there has only been one moment in which I came close to doing something similar to this in a match of Team Rumble against actual players. Let me show you some footage of that. So the clip that you just saw was a match of me playing Team Rumble in which more than 10 of my teammates had left and I ended up being against 15 opponents and you know there was so much confusion going on that I was able to pick off everyone and they were shooting at their teammates so they couldn't really pinpoint what my location was and that's what gave me so many eliminations in a couple of seconds. Like I mentioned earlier a situation like this is probably how Epic intended for you to complete the challenge but that's not the method I'm gonna show you. That clip was just an insane amount of luck and a case of right place at the right time and that's most likely not gonna happen if you're gonna go for it now. Once again I cannot give you a 100% failsafe guarantee that you're gonna complete this challenge but I can at least show you how to do it. For the method which I use you're gonna need at least two Fortnite accounts. I have a switch myself but I also have a mobile that can run Fortnite. You can also do this with a friend just make sure that you have two accounts. So if you want a full tutorial on how to get into bot lobbies just search it on YouTube. I don't want to get that in this video but the main essence is that you join your other account which is either on switch or mobile. You queue together in squads and the moment you go from the lobby to a loading screen you need to leave Fortnite completely on your Switch or on your mobile. What that does is it's gonna throw you in the lobby where I think at least 90% of all players are bots and that's gonna make doing a challenge like this a lot easier. Once you get into a bot lobby, I would suggest landing in any of the following locations, either Salty Springs, Holly Hedges or Retail Row. Those have a lot of houses, they have a flat surface, there's no water, so it's gonna make it easy to move around and most of the bots will spawn very close to one another. After you land, make sure that you grab at least two weapons that can cover medium distance and make sure to grab enough bullets because you're gonna knock down people, you're not gonna eliminate anyone, so you're not gonna be able to pick up loot from them. I feel like I should also mention that it is extremely RNG whether or not the bots will spawn or where they will spawn and if they're gonna eliminate the players that you've knocked already. Because the first two attempts that I did this, I immediately got to five. And then I spent the next two hours trying to get the sixth one. As I mentioned earlier, about 90% of the players are bots, but there's a slight risk that you may run into an actual human opponent. So when that happens, you know, just forfeit and start again. All right, you should now have every single piece of advice that I gave myself or that I used while trying to complete this. My main tactic for after I pick up the weapons is to find any opponent knock him down, shake him down, and then you need to eliminate two more of his team members. Make sure that you remember approximately where the fourth guy is because you're gonna need this one in order to rack up four eliminations at once. So once you've eliminated three opponents, try to find a different squad, knock down two of them, and then try to get the fourth guy that you left alive to meet you wherever you're standing. Keep in mind that you have 100 seconds after you knock someone before they bleed out completely. So there's no need to rush. Like the only way that process is gonna go faster is if there's another bot or human player that's gonna shoot at the person you've already knocked. The last piece of advice that I wanna give you is that crash pads and flare guns come in really handy. Whenever you've knocked your first three opponents, shoot out a flare gun in order to see where other squads are. And you know, if you have crash pads, it's gonna make your movability so much better. And you can just go over there knock them, and then complete your freaking punch card. That's about all I have to say, you guys. I'm now going to show you the footage in which I actually completed the challenge. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you at the next one. Peace!